Hi friends, welcome to my channel about Dart and Flutter. In today's vocabulary series, we will be we will be talking about the word generators. So in Dart, there is something called generator functions, which is actually uh, are there to generate sequence of values and uh, that can create sequence of values uh, on demand and lazily. That means they may not create at that point time unless it's needed or unless it's accessed. Uh, so in here when we talk about generators there are four keywords that comes in um, uh, comes related with this concept so as you see it, the one is as uh, sync star as sync star yield and yield star so uh, as it says uh, sync so sync is used for generator functions to generate the values synchronously while a sync keyword uh, async star keyword is used to generate values in a stream uh, which is like as it comes as the event comes uh, in a asynchronous way so for sync star it is written the a written an iterable it's a collection of values uh, which can be accessed as a collection so uh, the return type of uh, sync star functions is an iterable while the return type of async star function is stream so what is this yield and yield star now? So yield is the one which helps us to deliver that newly generated value. So we'll see a few examples about that. And the yield star is specifically used for recursion in generator functions. So when you're calling a generator function inside itself, uh, you will use a uh, yield star. So let's uh, see the examples for these four uh, keywords and how we generate the value. So in this uh, series, uh, in this example, uh, I will use a math uh, a function to create a value. Uh, so uh, a countdown from uh, uh, like a countdown series. Uh, so if you given a value like a five here, it will print like a five, four, three, two, one, and so on. So right here, as you see. Uh, until it hits the zero it will not print the zero so it will print the value it's given the number it's given and go up to uh, the one just before zero so as you can see it's like a simple functions right here uh, countdown from sync so here i'm using the word sync in addition to yield so sync star is used for uh, right here as you see uh, and it's returning the return type is, is, is iterable of in type and as uh, the yield is to deliver this number so if you will be writing this uh, method to return the similar countdown you will be just writing uh, return number uh, minus minus like return one and proceed until you reach uh, to zero like as far as it's like bigger than zero it will keep decrementing until it hit the zero that's what this piece of code is doing so here the a few things to notice is the return type it, which is iterable of in type sync asterisk uh, sync star here which is uh, saying it's a synchronous uh, once like it will collect the whole it will return the whole uh, iterable like it together and yield uh, is the keyword which is actually delivering this delayed response or, or on demand uh, 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 number or the stream or the value sorry not the stream the value of the sequence of numbers so in here so you can simply could copy paste this code in the dart pad if you want to run right away or you can go to the github as it's in uh, below in this article to check out the whole file uh, you may want to remove this one if you are running uh, into the dart pad because uh, i did it because i wanted to show the four examples in the same uh, file but you may want to remove the one if you are uh, writing this code copying this code over to dartpad so now first thing what i'm doing i'm getting the countdown from sync and as a five so it's a uh, sequence it's a iterable which goes from one to five that's what i'm getting and first i'm printing the starting so as you see it's starting is printed first and then in a for loop in the sequence i'm running a for loop over this and I'm printing one by one by one. And when it's done, it's saying done. So as you see, it's printing the way it should be uh, asynchronously. So that's why, oh, sorry, synchronously. So that's why we are using synchronous. So that's what it does. And 
it's creating the value generating the value for you to give it so usually you don't use these uh, generator functions in day to day programming you may use it maybe for testing or in some circumstances where you want to maybe uh, mock the network to deliver some values so mostly writing the mock test this might be useful and you can also introduce delay which i'm not covering here but maybe in future articles um, so that's what the user uh, use of these generative function could be in Flutter. So now let's go to the async trick. So it's the very same method, uh, sorry, very same function what I'm doing here. So the difference are stream. It's a stream now because it's the uh, asynchronously we are delivering the events and we switch the keyword to async star and yield remains the yield. It's still delivering the number. So as you see, we are writing the print, printing and done as everything is same. Now, one change you will see our starting and done is printed first. So why? Because it's an asynchronous code. So it's a stream. So it doesn't really wait for uh, a stream to uh, get all the values and then print. It gets it. So first it runs the setup code, which is print starting and done. And then as uh, the values available, here in the listening it's listening to the stream it keeps on printing so that's what is happening here that's why this sequence is like this so whenever i start listening it will start printing so now the next is sync star in addition to yield star so we use the yield star for recursive uh, synchronous generator so for example right now i want to use the same method again uh, like in here so the change is in here in this piece of code so as you see if my number is greater than zero i return my number and what i do i decrement uh, one one value and again i call the same and i return again so the earlier way was the more iterative way well i'm running the while loop and keep returning until it's zero in here i'm doing i'm checking uh, it's if if it's uh, i'm checking uh, if it's greater than zero or i'm calling the same method so it's a recursive way of writing the same countdown so in here the output should be the same and it, it is same right here as our iterative approach the difference uh, so what we are doing here we are showing the usage of yield star so that's the the point i'm trying to demonstrate here in this example so the whole example stays the same as the sync star other than the implementation of this countdown from sync is now recursive and it's uh, when we are calling the same recursive function in itself uh, it's using the yield star keyword so and now this is the with async variation with that with the same thing so here again the say change is the very same so yield star and you can see it's the uh, same output as we saw with async star so in this uh, article i will be I, I just shown like how to use the generator functions and what these keywords are async star yield star yield and sync star um, and uh, and so that's pretty much for this article and you can check more uh, vocabulary articles uh, here in this link and i'll see you in the next video thank you